Hey guys, this is Ricardo back here on the Watch With Us channel and today we're reviewing a watch from a brand called DIY Watch Club. Now this stands for the Do It Yourself Watch Club and the key thing here with the club or the brand is that they have different offerings, different types of watches that you can purchase from them. <clears throat> they have a diver, they have sporty pieces and they also have dressy pieces. But the biggest draw here is that these watches come in parts. So you actually have to put the watch together when you get it in. As I stated, the watch comes in parts when you get it in. And actually the cost of this is a very reasonable cost and I'll kind of go over that later in the video. But what the brand does is they provide you all the watchmaking tools necessary to put the watch together as well as provide you with tutorial videos that you could use to get the job done. Now, when this watch came in, and I must note that this watch was given to the channel, so this is to the channel, given to the channel to keep. Um, when this watch was sent in, I basically had to sit down and piece the watch together. Uh, this goes from everything to putting the movement in the case, placing the dial, on the movement, placing the hands on the dial, um, actual very tedious work. Uh, I, my hands go up to all the watchmakers out there because that was easily one of the most difficult parts of the process, putting hands on a watch dial. But when you're done, you're left with this, I have to say, a very beautiful piece. Um, it's part of their dress line called the Mosul. So, this watch, if we go over some specs, comes in at 38 and a half millimeters. You have a lug to lug of 45 millimeters and you have a case thickness here of 12 and a half millimeters. Now that includes the beautiful double dome ac acrylic K1 crystal on the top, which has beautiful, as you can see, distortion here around the watch. Now, in terms of just a breakdown of materials um, that you're sent in to put this together. As I stated, you get the strap, um, buckle, so you basically have to piece the strap together. You get the case, which already has the crystal in it, case back to screw on top, the movement inside, which is a Myota 8215 movement, the dial, which in this case comes in blue, but you do have the option for a black dial with gold accents and a silver dial to put together of this watch. The watch is in the classic understated design. So you have basically stick fingers, not stick fingers, stick hands, with a lot of polishing on the top side of the case and a lot of polishing on the indexes in the hands. One nice little thing is you get this nice brushed sides and then polishing going back to the case back. You get the sapphire crystal case back, which shows the rotor here that is actually customized in this case. And I just didn't show much of that because I kind of want you guys to, um, this is gonna tie in a little into something at the end part of this video. Uh, but the cool thing is, as I said, the rotor can be customized and you could basically have them put whatever information in terms as of maybe dates uh, or a small saying that you wanna put on the rotor. Um, if we go back here to the front of the watch, you'll see that the date is right there at the six o'clock. You have Mosul Automatic right there at 12 and Parashock 21 Jewels. Now, as I stated, the movement inside is a Mayura 8215 and that beats at about 21,600 beats per hour, which still gives you a pretty nice sweep here if you're looking at the seconds hand. The crown itself has a small D here for the DIY in terms of do-it-yourself. Spin the crown here, you get hand winding, 
pull the crown out, you can then change your date, as you see there. This does not have hacking, so when you pull it to the last, you could set your time, but the movement doesn't stop. Now, there are some movement upgrades. You could move, actually upgrade this to 8315, which gives you some more power reserve as well. Um, but overall, that's the package you get when you finally put the watch together. Now, that covers the watch. But the biggest draw here is, of course, the experience of putting the watch together, which is, I have to say, is just a cool experience. Um, very tedious. Uh, there were a few points where I just wanted to throw up my hands because I mean, it's very tedious work. You're dealing with um, tweezers, you're dealing with eye loops, um, putting hands on, as I stated this earlier, putting hands on a watch is quite difficult. Um, I've looked at some of the other models which have larger hands for their divers, um, which I'm gonna guess is probably an easier process than trying to fit these stick hands on this watch, um, especially the second hand. I got lucky when I did it uh, the first time around, it just sat perfectly on that very small uh, stem for the second hand, but it, it in terms of the hours and the minute hand are oh, quite difficult. Um, there's some footage of it. <laughs> if you guys want to uh, want to see, I'm going to drop some of that into the video. But um, yeah, it's it's not easy. But you know what it is? It's fun. It actually is quite fun because it's, you know if you're someone who loves horology, um, ever thought about maybe being a watchmaker or just you know not seriously thinking about being a watchmaker, but wanted to take a stab at putting a watch together. I mean, it is quite a fun thing to do. It took me about, I'd have to say, three and a half hours to piece this together, but um, it was well worth it. And I have to say, um, price-wise, which I'm going to tell you right now, is $238. It's currently on sale from a $258 total. Price-wise, in terms of value, this is really amazing. Uh, I mean, if you look at the case, yes, it's high polish. But the, look at just that transition to the brushing here on the side. I mean, I've seen cases for much more money that aren't as well done as this case. I mean, even the strap here, which is basically a 20 millimeter strap, which has a slight taper down to 18. Even the strap here is just really nice. Um, you have the buckle, which has that little symbol for the do-it-yourself watch club. I mean, you could see that rotor back there. I'll give you a quick look for those who may have missed it. I mean, they did a really good job with this. They really packaged it well. And for $238, it's a steal to, to get a watch that you're able to put together. Going back to what I said the, about the hands, with that being so difficult, the cool, cool thing here is they also provide you with a second set of hands. So that's really nice. Um, this beautiful blue sunburst dial is also a nice little feature. And they also provide you a blower, um, which is another tedious part of this, making sure dust doesn't get into the case while you're putting this together. But overall, I have to say, um, this, is, this was a lot of fun. Um, it's a watch that I have to say, since I put it together, I've been wearing it quite often. It's a beautiful piece. It has a nice polish to it for the price and just the look, everything, just everything is great about this watch. Uh, in terms of the process of putting it together, the videos were pretty straightforward. Um, I may say, if there's one thing I say, maybe add another set of hands because that's how tedious these hands were to put on. And see if you could do a video um, in terms of the do-it-yourself watch club. I would love if they did a video of putting on these particular hands because these particular hands are quite hard to put on. But um, earlier I mentioned um, a little tie-in I'm doing with what was written on the back of the case back. So there was something written on the back of the case back. If you have an opportunity to go through the video and catch it, um, if you do catch it, I want you to write what it was in terms of um, actually put it not in the way it was written here, but actually in 
the format in a normal format. And I want you to, to take a guess as to what that, what's the significance of that, whatever was written back there. To the first person who, who actually gets the right answer in the comments, I'll be giving you a $50 certificate to the do-it-yourself watch club. So if you want to order one of these watches, you'll have a, do, a $50 certificate, a $50 gift certificate that you could use toward that purchase. So it literally take the $238 Mosul, if that's what you decided to do, and bring that down to about $288. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, definitely take a look at the Do-It-Yourself Watch Club website. This is the specific watch here. Um, but definitely, if you're a fan of watches and you know the idea of putting them together, I definitely, definitely take a look at the Do-It-Yourself Watch Club and you know have some fun. But that is my video today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next week with the next review on the channel. Bye, guys.